Hello and welcome everybody to our e-lecture for today. I'm going to show you how to use Google Docs in combination with Citavi, which is our bibliography program. As you can see here, I already started an empty project. So the first thing we're going to do is we fill it with one article. So the first thing I'm going to do is I go to Google Scholar, which you may find on the scholar.google.com, and there you may search for different references like Porter which is Michael E. Porter so if you haven't already the right preferences you may hear which is scholar preferences and then here in the lower part you may find bibliography manager and there you choose links to import and in EndNote which is another bibliography manager but uses the same file types as Citavi. And then you go on Preferences Save and what you now got is this link here Import into EndNote which is here in German. So and now you go here into Import an EndNote click on it and you downloaded a file which is scholar.enw and if you open that file Citavi would would recognize that um, literature reference has been opened and it would be interpreted to insert it into our database. Now we go to add to project and as you can see here our first literature reference is in our database. Then what is the next thing we're going to do? Then I'm going into Google Docs. I already started a doc file which is called test right now and if you have some text in it, like, I don't know, um, competitive advantage, and you want a reference on it, then you may, for example, just go into your bibliography, go onto citation, quote with, copy to clipboard, click on control V to paste your reference into your document. What you now got is you got the reference in such a coded form. And this coded form can be interpreted by Citavi as the final step. Um, the best thing right now is that we can use this and your reference file as well to make a literature reference in a, in a design we'd like to have. Um, as a final step I show you how to do that. But first of all I want to show you another way how to import such a coded reference into Google Docs in a very easy way. You go on your bibliography Citavi and then you click on F7, which is normally working, but not right now. Nevertheless, you go on Citation, Publication Assistant, and then this little window opens. What you now can do is you go on your Google Docs, make this little window open up, and you can drag and drop your coded reference. So as a final step, I'm going to clear that. In which way is this helpful to us? You can now download it like an RTF file, which is rich text file, to open it up in Microsoft Word. And we have a rich text file downloaded on our computer. And afterwards, we can use this rich text file in our Citavi to make a completed reference and a reference list at the end of the document. I show you how. Just for the further use, you won't necessarily use it in our lectures, but as further uses, 
in your further courses or in your master thesis or bachelor thesis, this will be very helpful to you. So you in the menu you choose Citation, select Format Publication, now choose Add Document and look for your downloaded rich text file. Click on your file and now open it. Now you see that Citavi interpreted our text file and here you see that Citavi has found one reference which is Porter 1987 and the green circle is a sign for that the reference that Citavi has found in your document is already in the database and in the lower part you can choose your citation style like Chicago style and finally you click on format now choose a new file name for your formatted text file a window shows up click yes to accept that we open our file in Word okay everything's fine and now we see that Citavi changed our coded reference into our Chicago layout. And if we scroll down our document, we see that Citavi also added a reference list. Well, normally you will have more than just one reference and your reference list would be quite longer than just one, I hope, um, but this is just fine for now. Well, I hope you learned a lot about Google Docs and Citavi and how to use those two applications in combination. And I also gave you a short, short introduction into how to use Google Scholars. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you very much for your attention.